Okay, great. And I'll bring this microphone closer to you guys so we can hear you better. So, hey, uh, no, it's okay, I can hold it. So, what brings you guys out here today? Well, I'm with Veterans for Peace. I was with Occupy Philly from the uh, earliest days. And uh, looking forward to a reunion here. It is a real thing. Oh, that's great. I like it. And how about you? Uh, my name is Vivek. Uh, I have been also in the And I work with many organizations. For example, not only the the world has so many problems. So, all of us have something to do. have to stretch. And what inspired you initially to get involved in Occupy? I just love the atmosphere of people coming together to express new ideas and have a conversation about how the corporations are taking advantage of people and how desperate people are. I just love that in all the working group. I'm still part of the working group, by the way. Money out of politics. One of the few uh, working groups still going in the early stage. And the interface. Tell me what you do as part of those groups. Uh, well, Money Out of Politics is the uh, root striker organization that's trying to mitigate the influence of money in politics. Because corporate money is essentially a bribe for politicians, and everyone's disgusted with that. And um, you've, I see you've got a National Gathering 2012 shirt on. That What's was, the that story? That was not got last year in Philadelphia. <laughs> this year it was in Michigan. A few weeks ago I was in um, New York, Zuccotti Park, for the Occupy and Wall Street anniversary. So uh, despite the occupations uh, not being so um, populated as they were before, they are still happening. <laughs> They're happening throughout the city actually, but not in one location as we were here after our eviction. So would you say uh, the eviction was a good thing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. I know it didn't stop me from staying involved. It stopped a lot of people. Why do you think that is? That's a great question. Uh, maybe you can answer it. Maybe Viva can answer it. I don't know. But to me, you just change venues. That's all. And you, the uh, the Quakers opened their doors for us to meet, and we were meeting there, and I we continue to meet there. See, this question is very very complex question. It's not that easy to answer, but let me try. <laughs> Uh, you know, we live in the only imperialist country on the planet right now. And we run the world, technically. We have 700 bases around the world. And 62% of our budget goes for defense. What does that show to us? Real imperialism. So a few of us, not me or him or you, the top guy running this world, this has to come to an end. Occupy is one other thing that really caught it and started it. But the, the other guys were so powerful, they crushed it. It's almost impossible. You must have heard about NDAA. You know, anybody can be arrested for most of these right reasons. And they can be in jail until they die. Maybe they will, I don't know. I, I haven't left that really. Maybe even if you take five different birds, they'll keep them in a place. You know, it's, it's such a horrible thing. But the thing is now, unless we do something against this structure, which is totally illegal, immoral, that's fine. I mean, I, I don't think any human beings can have real life, except this one person, which we are totally against. What's next for you two? Well, I'm still with Money Out of Politics and the Interfaith Working Group. Um, we just keep going and we hope that uh, it becomes, it proliferates like, like it once was when we were here having outdoor general assemblies and working group meetings. That was beautiful. Now, if people are watching this and they used to be a part of Occupy, but they think it disappeared, where should they uh, turn for more information? Uh, Google uh, Root Strikers, Money Out of Politics. Uh, that's one group. Yeah, that's the main group. Okay, Root Strikers and Money Out of Politics. Alex.
Oh, I'm gonna get another interview with oh, him yeah. in a moment. Yeah, so he's, he's, he's a head man. Great, yeah. okay. Any other so thoughts? Actually, I'm the same company. You said it's fine. It's still a little bit. Not really. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. In fact, I'm the treasurer of the company. That's number one. The other thing, we do have all kinds of activities like open world, you know, the vacant plots, and we are trying to raise some crops and give them a few producers. So we are doing something, but unfortunately, it's a little hard for us to get together on this something solid, but we are still trying. So we are not dead at all, at all. I'm glad to hear it. I have one more comment. About yes. The many Occupy movement does not endorse political candidates. However, I would like to comment on the current White House, for whom many liberals and peace people in the peace community have worked to put in office. The bloodshed, the deception, the corporate. Uh, criminality that hasn't stopped President Obama. So I think he is he is disillusioned many people on the left as his predecessor did on the right. And the answer doesn't lie in Democrats and Republicans. Obviously. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can we see this on